Hey there, Luke here with you. In this video, I'll be explaining how you can purchase Bitcoin using CoinJar. Now, this is a Bitcoin exchanger. They are based in Australia, and so you'll need an Australian bank account in order for this to work. Now, what's really nice about this particular company is they use BPay as the means for moving money from to and from your bank account to purchase Bitcoins with from your Australian dollars into your Bitcoins and then back. And so that keeps the costs really low. Um, as you know, it's free to, to move BPay money around. <clears throat> so really, really simple business to use um, and tailored to the Australian market. So like I said, I'm just going to take you through the process of registering your account and then purchasing some Bitcoins and how to do that. So first of all, you'll just need to come to uh, Coinjar dot com or you can use the link beneath this video there's a promotion if you use the link beneath this video you will get some coin jar reward points those points can be applied towards fees transaction fees the coin jar debit card things like that um, if you'd like to redeem those 500 points now once you've done that hit the uh, sign up and of course I already have an account so I'm gonna hit sign in so when you've filled in your profile, you'll get an email sent to your email address. You need to go and verify that that's your email address. And then you can log in and you'll see a back office similar to this. Now, as you can see um, right here, this uh, is basically just talking about the debit card that they have. But you will see right here something that says something similar to verify your your account and so you need to just go through those steps and send either it's a picture identification so your driver's license or your passport and also a proof of address now that will take a couple of days to be approved so make sure you just go through those steps submit those documents and then over the next couple of days they'll be approved now once that's done and your account is verified you can start moving money from your Australian bank account and purchase bitcoins with it so if we scroll all the way down to settings and we scroll down again you can see right here linked bank accounts so you come over and click on add bank account just like you normally would your BSB account number uh, you just enter the information there and hit link this bank account now when you do that they're going to send you a very small transaction and the transaction will have a, a, a series of numbers on it that you need to verify that it is in fact your bank account so again that will take a couple of days uh, but when that money hits your bank account, it'll look like this. So here I am in my Westpac bank account, and you can see the deposit right here, uh, Coinjar, and this is the code that I was talking about. So you'll have a code similar to this. You can see they sent one cent to me, and then uh, I just had to verify that this was my bank account by putting this code into their system, and you'll see that that they request that code. Now, since then, I've made two successful deposits from my Coinjar account to my Westpac account. You can see a little over $2,000, and it's working really, really well and very smoothly. So once you've got that code, you can come back to your Coinjar account and verify your bank details. Now, once that's done, you are literally ready to load into your bank account. So you can come back up to accounts or from any page actually, and you'll see quick deposit. So now this is where you can see it's a BPay. So literally you can send $2,500 a day um, and you can just send that from your bank account that is now verified. You just use the bill of code and the reference number as per usual and when you send that money, again, just like any bank transfer, that will go to your Coinjar account. But you can see that we have two accounts here. One is in Australian dollars and one is in Bitcoins. Now, what's really nice about Coinjar is the fact that you can immediately exchange your Bitcoins for Australian dollars and your Australian dollars for Bitcoins really simply within the system. So you can come to payments and you can transfer from, for instance, your Bitcoin wallet to your Australian dollar wallet. And what that means is if you think Bitcoins are gonna go down, you could, you could move the money into your Australian wallet, 
to protect yourself against that. Or if you think Bitcoin's are gonna go up, you could take the money out of your Australian wallet and go into Bitcoin. Now, I don't want this to be about you know the, the investment of Bitcoin or the benefits of owning Bitcoin, but it's just a nice feature to be able to simply move money in and out of Bitcoin readily. Now, on top of that, of course, you can see here, this is where my bank account is. So if I wanted to move my Bitcoins, you can see I've just got a very small amount of Bitcoin here. If I want to move that to my Westpac bank account, again, it's payments, transfer, select the Bitcoin wallet or the Australian wallet, whichever one has money in it, and then my Westpac bank account, and then you put the amount in here. So you can see I've got 0.017. So if I was just to put 0.01, oh, 0.01, then you can see that's $16 and I could review and confirm that. And you can see simple as this, right? You'll receive, this is the amount. Um, you can see there's a fee here. And as I mentioned at the start of this video, um, the points, so it, it uses five points to actually send this transaction. So you can reduce the fee by using the points if you use the link beneath this video to get started. So once that's done, right once you hit pay now really it's it just arrives in your bank account in the next day or so so look it's that simple okay it takes a couple of days to get your, your documents verified but once that's done really easy system to use but i just want to cover one more thing um, when we when you send that initial deposit from your Australian bank account to your coin jar account it will land in your Australian dollar cash account and so once it's in this account you can then exchange it for your bitcoins so again once you've sent the money from your Australian bank account it'll land here and then you can come to payments select the account and of course you'd select your Australian cash account because this is where your deposit will be and then you can sorry at transfer here you'll select the account Australian cash account and then you can select it into the Bitcoin and change that money across into your bitcoins and so then you'll own bitcoins you'll actually have bitcoins and these bitcoins will be seen here in your every everyday Bitcoin account just like my Bitcoin is sitting there so once you've got that, you can start to use it so you can send it to anyone else. Now, I just want to cover that quickly if you're completely new to Bitcoin. What that means is if we come back up to the Everyday Bitcoin account, what you can see here is you can click on View Address. So when you view the address, this address here, this is your Bitcoin address. So if someone was going to send you money via Bitcoin, you could copy this address and then have them send you the money. Now this, if you're familiar with PayPal, could be likened to the PayPal email. So with PayPal, you get somebody's email address and you can send money via PayPal to their email address. With Bitcoin, this is that code, okay? So this is the code that you send to people so that they can then send you money just like an email address is in PayPal. This code is in your Coinjar Bitcoin account. So if I was to close that, the next thing you can do, of course, is send money. So if you were to come to payments, I know we've been talking about a lot about transferring between your bank account, but you can pay and from your Bitcoin account. And this right here is the code, right? Right here, the BTC account address, sorry. So this is that same code for somebody else. So you can request a code of someone else and that's the same thing. It's just like the PayPal email where you get the code, you put it in here and it will send it to that address. Um, and they don't have to be a CoinJar customer, that's any Bitcoin address. If somebody gives you the address and you send it to them, they'll receive that in Bitcoin and of course you put the amount down here. So that's a bit of a complete overview of using CoinJar. I hope that helped you get set up. It's really simple once it is set up. And remember just to review this video a couple of times. I have sort of tried to cover everything here, but we did move through it quite quickly. So you can review that uh, as many times as you need. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in coming videos.